1079, Atlanta's number one hip hop station. My name is Mo Quick. Yes, it's the Mo Show. And I have a super special, gorgeous guest in here, Atlanta. Her name is Kay Michelle, and you are back from your hiatus. Yes. We're so happy yes. to have you back. Thank you for having me. So you were hiding for a little bit. Yes. We already knew it was going to come right before the tour that everyone has just been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Because then you, at the last time I actually saw you, you told us that you were going to transition into country music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is supposed to be your last R&B album? Yes. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, um, I'm just another place. You know, I've been, you know, country has been my thing. Like I said, I paid for college. I got a scholarship for Yellowland. Paid for school through... You know, country, I was always good at just, like, writing mm. and doing what I did, you know. So I've been in Nashville. I'm a Tennessee girl. That's where I'm from. It only makes sense. Yeah, to, you know, you want to live your life. You want to do what you want to do. You don't want to leave the earth before doing what you're supposed to do. Mm. What you say? Purpose. Yes. Let's go. That's what you want. You want to do your purpose, finally. And not, I love you know, it. So what how people tell you. How long after I'm the problem are we going to meet Puddin? Right after. Like the next day? Because doesn't no. it over March 23rd? That's the last date, right? Yeah. not it, It'll be it'll be more like top of the summer. Um, I do have like a country feature with an artist, a country artist that I love coming out. And I'm going to Nashville, not just for tour, but to do Breland. If y'all don't know Breland, he's a really great African-American country singer. And mm-hmm. he's like taking over all the country charts. So I'm doing going to do a show with him at the historic rhyming. And um Wow. Yeah, it's just been a thing going. Wow, girl. Mm-hmm. That's really, really dope. Mm-hmm. I like how you just stepping out there. Yeah. I mean obviously we know K Michelle is not gonna hold back anything anyway. So I'm not mm-hmm. surprised that you'll take on a lane that you don't see a lot of us in. Mm-hmm. Like it's natural to me. Like it's this what my first tape I ever got was a judge. Like it's it's who I am. And, you know, it's just a natural, I don't even think it's a transition because I've kind of done it every album. Uh, yeah, I we hear that, a, that twine when we listen to you. It's like, you hear it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's time. It's time to put out that body of work because it's crazy talking about it for years and fans knowing it's crazy that they equate, you know, me with country music when you say black country music. So is that a, a genre? No, Black it's country. not a genre, and it's a. Uh, I think until we, you know, because we have everybody. Like we got it. Ray Charles did, you know, country music, mm-hmm. and there's so many. Like we got um, Vicky Guyton, she's amazing. We got Jimmy Island, we got so many. It's like a whole community in Nashville who are really, you know, making big strides in country music. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to label great music. Oh, this black country music. Yeah, it was black, our music first. Like, yeah, like it was our I music first. You. you know, that was in our music. Like, uh-huh. just say we are amazing artists. And period. Period. In this genre, and we singing what we came in singing. Period. And I love it because I hate that we do have to put when they put us in a sector when we join something. Black got to come first and then follow up with whatever it is. Like Nia Long was saying, like, black films. You know, they was getting on her. But they're not just films. they not just black films. they films. Like, we like we are a gifted race. We are great yeah. at everything from yeah. being athletes to being, you know, journalists to being everything. Inventors, let us poets, be great. authors. <laughs> like, the list yeah. goes on. Yeah, let us, let us be great in all. Mm, and we ain't even said that on Black History Month, but yes. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's Black History Month. Like, it's to me, it's it's, it's everything you see walking. It was created. Mm. It's Black History Day, like, girl. <laughs> black History Life. <laughs> yeah, like let's not do that. You know, I love it. Oh, I love it. So, what are we gonna get from this last album? Can you mm-hmm. take us on a journey, real quick? It's just me, man. I think I came in. I've been raw. I always kind of be in trouble for saying a little bit how I feel. <laughs> like it is a thing. Um, and they said I was the problem, even just me and myself. Mm. So I take accountability for my problems. So you got to take accountability, but you also, you know, kind of poke fun. I could be right. You still going to say I'm wrong. Mm. At the end of the day, this is the role I play in this industry. Everybody so has to be guy. a villain. You're going to always pick a villain. You're going to always pick this. You're going to always pick a winner. You're going to always pick an underdog. So you okay with being the bad guy? Um, 
ain't had no choice because I was going to keep on saying what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> so you might as well have got used just to it. Own it. <laughs> you might as well own it because what you going to keep on doing? Like trying to prove to people things when they you end up being right and they end up saying, she was so right. Even though like mm-hmm. you just don't want to hear from me. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. So tell me this because you said something that sounds a little bit like therapy. The first step is admitting. Are you trying to heal? Are you going Definitely. through a healing process? Definitely. Um, I think I know my flaws. I, I I look at myself in the mirror. I know when I did something. And then what you do? I deal with it. I'm very much like if I have an issue with somebody, I'll come around. I'll say, well, I, was, I shouldn't have handled that like that or whatever. Oh, wow. I've never been a one straying from that. I never play victim. Oh, I love that. Because when you do have a... A personality that suggests, if this is how I feel, I'm going to say it. Sometimes mm-hmm. feelings get us in trouble, yeah. and then we have to backtrack and be like, my bad. Yeah, I like, I do that, and I have to do it. <laughs> it has to happen, but, you know, but, you know, I would much rather give me than hide, you know, mm. hide that. Mm. When, when's the last time you got in the most, quote-unquote, trouble? <laughs> Somebody know in the room who you look to. <laughs> I can get in trouble every day. <laughs> I probably do some stuff every day. Really? Yeah, man. What 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 goes through that part of you that says? Because there's always a moment before we say how we about. We no, always I never have that. the moment. That's the you problem. lying. You have to. I never have the moment. I say exactly what I'm supposed to say. Then I think I don't never have the moment. Seriously. Mm-mm. You never have that that voice that says, maybe you shouldn't say this. Now I'd be like, oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't say it, but I'm going to say it. Like, so that is the moment. You act but, like the moment not there. But it don't change the next moment. So <laughs> it, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's that type of thing. It's never like a, it's like, well, I'm going to, I don't say what needs to be said, and then we'll deal with it. <laughs> you know? Oh, Lordy. So something I noticed when I was looking at the tour schedule, I didn't see Atlanta. It is. We we Where? just added this the last show. So you're closing the tour here? I always do. I always hey. have closed in Atlanta. Yep. Okay, because I was mm-hmm. like, wait a minute. Is she mad at us? What did we do? No, no, no. I would never do that. Like, Atlanta's always, like, the best show. Like, it's, like, always, it's always the time. So, mm. Yeah. I finish up in Atlanta. Okay, I'm making sure, girl. Because I'm I like, let me talk you to her be about this. I promise, I, I would never do Atlanta like that. And I saw you was bringing Jay Howell on tour. Yeah. I love Jay Howell. He's so Everybody sweet. Everybody loves Jay Howell. Um, what What made you decide on him? They decided. My Who fans was they? decided. Oh, the fans. <laughs> they begged me. They They told me. My makeup artist told me about him. You know, he's from Memphis. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, like, I'm from Memphis, like, that thing, and he's a singer. Like, yes. He, when I say, like, yes. one of the most amazing voices, girl, like, ever, and I, I was like, I really want a real soulful singing show. Like, I want that type of thing. And so we had been kind of talking online, and they was like, can Jay have though? It was a whole thing, and then we got on live when they kept saying it, and then management and everybody made it happen. Oh, my goodness. When I saw his name, I said, thank God, because I feel like he'd be so overlooked. Yeah, and I, I think don't he understand get it. that. You know, I think some of the most talented artists are overlooked, and he, you know, kind of just getting out here, and he's a force. He is. He's a real force, and that voice is, is heaven sent, and it makes you feel something. It really does. I'm mm-hmm. so happy you chose him. So when mm-hmm. it comes to the tour, I was seeing this is going to be the show of shows. Yeah. What is something that we need to make sure we look out for when we sitting in those seats? I think I always call it my slumber party. Like my shows, you know, you know, we have production, that type of stuff, but it's never really about that. Like I always kind of go off moods. I never really follow they be mad. I never really follow, like, the set list and the screens be off and all of that. I tried to put a fan up there. I felt like I was choking. Like, all that type of stuff. It's just not me. Um, it's just the mood of the crowd. Like, we really enjoy each other. And my meet and greets are amazing because I don't just, like, snap pictures. Like, we really have, like, a meet and greet party. I get to hear people's lives. Like, we hang mm-hmm. after the show. It's really, like, a family type of thing. 
Oh, that is so dope. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Y'all gonna be so excited. Yes, it's so fun. We know we gonna or we know you're gonna make a transition from R and B to country. Does that mean that we won't ever see you on any more hip hop scenes like oh. reality shows and the culture? Mm -hmm. Like what what are we to expect from Pudding that's not Kate Michelle? Um, you know, Pudding is what they've been calling me since I was a little girl. That's my family name. Um so I think in reality, I don't know. Like, I'm producing a show right now with Mona Scott. <gasps> you lying. You no, know, for the city of Memphis. So <gasps> there's some stuff, you know, going on. I probably pop wow. in and, and, um. Oh, so you're not going to be the face. You go, you just producing it in the background. Yeah, you know, I just produce the show on Lifetime. So I've been, like, producing, but I'll probably pop in. Um, on some things here and there, but it's well, more well, about Paul, that. Tell us more about it. Like, um, I really can't say much about it. You know, the last show I did was the show on Body. Yes, and that I saw was that. that show. Um, I Beat. produced that for Lifetime, and then that was an amazing experience. You got to, girl. you know, like save some lives. So just really, just met a whole nother tribe of women mm. and men and, and trans, just everybody. And um, that was the thing. So. I kind of like being behind the scene in that. Um, far as mm -hmm. I do get requests for features, I have not done them, but I'm finna do some Memphis artists who have requested some um, some feature stuff. So I'm about to do that. Wow. But um, I'm always gonna sing music, you know. Like I never abandoned the music that I created out of out of my experience. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to focus on, um, you know, since I've been away, there's just other things that I kind of. Prevalent, like I, you know, from Tennessee, but I've been in Nashville. Like I've been on this farm hunt. Like I just love being, I just love being out there with animals. You're gonna things. get a farm? Doing, what do you yes, mean farm hunt? Yes, we've been, yeah, we've been getting the farm stuff together. Like I have a farm, like ready to go by what? the end of the year. You're gonna be farming? Yes. <laughs> well, I've always done it. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. That's. That's I think that's like ego, not ego, eco. Yeah, you like know the thing is like I love like hydroponic farming. Like I'm so intrigued with that and being able to maintain stuff and stuff like that. But you know it's a pattern. It's like a wow. routine. Like I think people watched last year as I looked and couldn't find the right land. So you know how the rest around here. So that has to be built. Everything is so much. So it has to be in order. But as far as living, like living. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's all that I'm buying. That's the only place. I'm not doing that now. What do you mean? Like living on the farm? Yeah, like I really just want to like build on the farm, like a barn dominium. What's a barn dominium? Oh, you don't know what that Girl, is. Girl, I'm Atlanta. You see this outside? This is all I know. I haven't been in the Barn dominiums are like they cheaper to build. They made with steel. Um, but they're beautiful. They have like the highest ceilings, like, but they're they're cheaper to build, but they're more. Uh, I just love the look and feel of them. It's like a loft. Yeah, like they have the highest ceilings, and you can just kind of design them how you want. It's home, like it's a regular house, but it's just um, a barn. Yeah, it's like a barn house. So yeah. you get that like that high arc voltage type, high voltage. Wow, um, the highest voltage, like they're unique, like it's like people it's like groups and people they're really big in texas they're builders to just build barn dominium are you going to move your whole family in there um not my whole family no 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know it's, it's time for me to um have something that's mine so that is what the that's what that goal is okay that's i, I would, that's what i want to buy like you could buy this or that properties investment and Condos and things like that, but like, yeah, that, that ain't sounds so do dope. I feel like you are just <laughs> like forget everybody, forget the world. I'm gonna do what K want to do, and I'm gonna enjoy this well, I life. Think that's time. I think it's time. I've been really good. I've been really doing everything I wanted to do. Hmm. Girl, I'm yeah. just want to live your life. It's it's so it's feeling free. It's giving me peace right now. Yeah, I think it happens. I think it do. I don't think overall I got a bad life. Um, I don't. I I think it'd be busy and hectic and all your dreams trying to line them up and do them right or whatever. But I think the first step in getting the dreams is like putting your first, you know, foot forward, like starting it. Mm -hmm. You can't do it till you start it. Mm -hmm. So 
You just said a word, sis. You mm-hmm. cannot do it until you start it. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're excited for the I'm the Problem tour. We're excited for the album. Um, anything else we need to be looking for? Because, well, I'll let you do it. No, um, nothing. Just I've just it's been like a I've been in this game a lot of years, and I'm just really grateful. I got you know, thank you for the like support and through ups and downs like people have really like had me and listened to my music and my stories so we have because you yeah. keep it open your heart is open we don't yeah. get you with i mean yeah you got your stunner shades on right now but we can see through them you know we just look Thank at fashion <laughs> now she's trying to you know protect herself from us you'd be like no, what's up i'm me i just thought that the um the stud didn't match my shirt oh it did you looking real good <laughs> Yeah. You guys, K. Michelle is here, and we're so happy that you are going to grace us at least one more R&B album before you go on to a whole nother journey because yeah. we would not be right if you just left us like that. Yeah, I think I could be happy. It's a great it's a great transitional album, but it's what I wanted to do, what people started with me. I wanted to, you know, do those emotions and those sounds and that type of thing. So it's... I love it. I love it. Now, I didn't get into love and the man and all of that. I didn't know if you had another hour or so. uh, (laughs) (laughs) I mean, if you wanted to go there, we could, but. (laughs) You know, that's what I be saying too much, (laughs) 